I'm Ryan Kruger with a look at some of the other headlines making news tonight in your speed feed. And of course, the one thing everyone is talking about online right now, that bitter cold. It's causing issues across the metro, like for these workers repairing a water main break in Midtown. It shut down the intersection of 8th and Cypress streets as crews raced against time and the cold to stop the flow of water before it turns into an icy danger zone. Thankfully, we've largely escaped the damage from that violent winter storm now pummeling much of the East Coast. It's brought heavy snow from Florida to New England. Heavy winds and icy conditions are stranding thousands of people at airports and on impassable roadways. This bomb cyclone has grounded flights and closed schools for days as it pushes north, bringing the threat of coastal flooding tonight. And check out this scene from New Jersey. A gas station roof couldn't stand up to the fierce wind and heavy snowfall. One last big gust and the whole thing comes toppling down. Luckily, no one was hurt and the weather has brought business as usual to a standstill from the mid Atlantic all the way up to New England, which may explain this. I want to thank all of these companies for putting their tax savings to the best possible use. That was a video message from President Donald Trump during today's White House press briefing. Rather than walk down the hall from the Oval Office, the president sent a recording praising the impact of the recent tax cuts and skipping any potentially pesky questions from journalists. So far, President Trump has not appeared in person in the briefing room, something his predecessors did from time to time. Finney?